Greg, uh, just wanted to show you a little bit of a trick found in uh, on the Atari 800. Uh, as I've told you before, uh, the Atari 800 has a display processor called Antic, which is very analogous to the uh, Agnes and the uh, Agnes and Denise chips. Uh, it's a lot simpler in this iteration, but it still allows you to do some neat things. Uh, particularly, uh, you can have what is called a display list interrupt. Now, uh, recall that a display list basically specifies what mode to display on each line. Very, uh, very analogous to the equivalent on the Amiga uh, as the copper list. Uh, again, the difference being is that it's a lot simpler. But uh, for each line that you trigger, you can also have a uh, what's called a DLI or a display list interrupt. And when you trigger, uh, you can go off, do a piece of interrupt code in which you can do all sorts of things like alter the uh, graphics chip registers such as uh, change color registers, change character set registers, a lot of different things that you can do. And I've done a simple, uh, I've done a simple version of this where I basically just change the background color of each individual line, save the first one just to prove the point, and uh, cycle through them. And because this is a display list interrupt, and because I call DOS back almost immediately after starting all of this, uh, this has the uh, added ability. It runs in the vertical blank interrupt. So it has the effect of basically happening completely in the background. There are two things happening. You have display list interrupts changing the color of each line, and you also have the vertical blank interrupt basically altering the zero page register so that it will color cycle. And I've done this as quickly, as tightly as possible, as quickly as possible, just to show the speed of the routine. As you can see, the final assembled bits, 140 bytes. The source code is just under 2K. And as you can see here, it's just sitting here color cycling. And I can just as easily go through, do some more stuff, go over to the cartridge, you know go back to DOS, whatever, and it'll just happily flip back through and do its little thing here. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, guess I, uh, until next time, later.